This subject was fantastic, jumped on it um, the moment I could. But it's definitely prepared me, you know, to be able to work in a professional environment. <laughs> It's a restored 1920s flour mill. Heaps of whiskey barrels around, aging in all different locations. So I take the instruments that I need, so I get a spirit thief, a measuring cylinder, a hydrometer, and I just go around to the different locations and the barrels that I'm testing. So I take the measurements, you know, observe the colour, anything that might stand out. Take those measurements and then take them back home. Often I'll be at the lab with Keith and we'll run those through together through a UV vis spectrophotometer. Science of whiskey, I think it grabs people's attention, certainly my attention. There's chemistry, there's physics, there's biology involved. The students working here get a taste of all those sciences, uh, as well as driving their own project. And that's, I think, is a great experience for any student. They're, they're seeing chemistry and science in action. Just, you can't, can't do that so easily in a classroom. Doing a science degree, I do lots of experiments and practicals. So using, um, I guess, analytical instruments, accuracy, um, attention to detail, I've used a lot of those skills. Also digital literacy, being able to use Excel and graphs. We had lots of theories about what the climate was doing to our product, so it was nice to be able to get the opportunity to get some data for it and validate or disprove the theories we had. Chloe's been able to work independently and be self-starting and that's been a real benefit. Well, it's somewhere that I never thought I'd be. I never really even considered this area of chemistry or science. With all these local wineries and distilleries and breweries, I think it's actually really important and relevant to our local area and tourism. I have resisted temptation, um, but I think I'll definitely have to try some before I leave. <laughs>